Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving, and how about them cowboys, huh? So tomorrow we do have a half day of trading. The market closes at 1 p.m., and I did want to make a quick video because we do have some interesting levels in tomorrow's trading range. But first I want to go over Wednesday's price action. And we opened Wednesday with a gap up, and we gapped up over the down gap from Tuesday, and we also gapped up above the downtrend off of the all-time highs and the highs of the year. I'll zoom out in just a second to show all of this from a bigger standpoint. But we gapped up into this gap, which was the US credit rating down gap. And then we pushed up into that gap, but we did not close it out completely. There was a small amount of that gap left and it pushed us back down underneath this trend line. And then for the rest of the day, we chopped around the trend line bounced off the five minute 200 moving average right there. And then we did close just a tiny bit underneath the downtrend. And the downtrend line is right here off of all time highs in January of 2022. And then uh, highs of the year this year. And right there is where we closed. So really, really interesting level to be at. And um, you don't see really big trend lines like that all that often on the this is on the weekly time frame and um, spans a few years here so um, that is where we closed on Wednesday and you can also see that from where we opened to where we closed was flat we did close up 0.39% VIX came down 0.54%. We are in the 12s right now for uh, volatility. And we did trade completely within the implied move. All right, let's go check out tomorrow's levels. So tomorrow's implied move is between 452 and 457. It is a very small move. It's just $2.12 in each direction. And that is because VIX is down in the 12s. So IV is very low tomorrow. And then the 30 day average volatility is quite a bit wider, 445 to 464. And we have a lot of levels to the upside. Um, Tomorrow's a really short trading day, and again, I don't think we're going to trade too far outside of the implied move, but I'm still going to go over the entire range, which does go quite a bit further out. So to the upside, the first level to look for is Wednesday's highs, and that at that level right there is the very last part of the U.S. credit rating down gap right here. So that right here is at um, 456.41. And then right above that, we do have a gap that was a few days before that. And then the highs of the year right here, those are all in tomorrow's trading range. I'll zoom back in in just a second, but I have to zoom out to be able to show them. And then right basically where we closed is this downtrend right here. And that goes back to all-time highs and then highs of this year and then that level right there. So, okay, now that I zoomed out and showed those levels, I'm gonna show them closer up. And so that downtrend is right here. We saw it as resistance on Monday and then Wednesday we chopped around it all day. And then this right here is that gap from the US credit rating down gap and here's the one right above it and that is just outside of the implied move. Then the highs of the year are right here, 459.44. And then above that, we have one more gap, and that gap goes back to um, January of 22, about the second weekend after we started dropping, we had one gap down, and that was resistance right here. So the upside is packed with resistance. And then the downside is just as interesting. 
So now you might see why I am not trading this that heavy. There's just so many mixed signals right here. So downside is Tuesday's gap down and Wednesday's gap up. That is, I'm, I'm not sure if it's an island. It's not an island top or an island bottom. It's maybe just an island. <laughs> and then, so we have these two gaps and usually when gaps overlap, they do tend to be a little bit of a battle zone. I'm not sure how this one's gonna react. It's, it's definitely a little bit different than ones I've seen in the past. So then we have the bottom of the implied move at 452. And then at the very bottom of the trading range, we have, um, if you extend the 30 minute 200 moving average, that's kind of at the bottom. It's really outside of the range, but it's there at the bottom. And then this $6 CPI gap. And then RSI is showing a Uh, bearish divergence and then a bearish divergence within a bearish divergence so that is interesting as well so I am interested to see what happens um, this is not a clean trading range at all in fact it's probably the messiest one I've ever put together for you guys <laughs> um, so just make sure you are safe and careful and take profits quickly I will go ahead and put this crazy chart out on TradingView. Enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving, guys. Have fun. Trade safe. Make sure you take profits when you're up, and I'll see you guys Sunday night.